Welcome back, everyone, to the Big Talk Podcast. We talk about the Africans' youth and everything that happens everywhere in the world. You know, the wild, you know, Big Talk. Go on, go on. Today, we have an amazing special guest with us. We got Machine Shags. Gun Shags. Mr. Shags, welcome wait, on board. Wait, we got Machine Gun Shags. Machine exactly. Gun Shags. Exactly. The one and only. The one, the one and only. Grrr, bow. Boom, boom, boom. Bow. Yeah. So, real quick, Machine Gun, please uh, give us your, your formal, your government real name, an introduction of who you are and what you do. Hello, Big Talk people. My name is Ogunoiki Shegun, Zersky. aka Machine Gun Shades. Yeah. Uh, what else? That's, you that's are me. a mixed martial arts professional yes, athlete. Yes, I am. Yes, I an am a mixed martial arts and uh, a biker. Uh, and a biker. Yes, I am a biker. Yes, I am a serial entrepreneur. Yes, yeah. I am a businessman. Yes, I am a lawyer. Actually, mm. lawyer, actually. who says you can't do it all? Who right, says? right. Who says? Yeah. I mean, who says? So, um, first of all, it's just like of, the question I want to know is what is the difference between like someone who goes to the gym regularly and an athlete? Uh, I think purpose is the difference. Mm. Um, an athlete goes to the gym as one of the things he has to do to achieve the highest possible attainable level in his choice of athletic abilities mm. uh you know regular gym goer just goes to keep fit i mean we, we all need to keep fit somehow yeah you choose the gym good for you you choose some other alternative also good for you either ways stay fit stay mm -hmm. healthy people right yeah then when it comes to the athlete you, you just finished describing a normal gym goer then yeah. what's the distinction what dis what differentiates you as an athlete to a regular gym goer so for me as an athlete it's a profession for me i my work is my athleticism they're very closely knit intertwined yeah. and um as a mixed martial arts athlete i compete i look to um test my skill against some of the best in the world yeah. where the opportunity arises Amongst other things, I don't have the luxury of um, living on impulse as I choose. Uh, th there's certain rules I need to abide abide by. Mm. Yes, to maintain my athletic prowess. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's super, man. But like uh, MMA is such a like vicious, heartless looking like how do you get into that like what what made you think what made you start that journey in the first place don't don't say it's heartless you have yo, to have a heart you have to have a heart to do it you have to have a heart However, to I, I get where he's coming from. Man in the face, like, like when this. he says uh heartless he just means violent violent yeah. yeah it is a very violent sport to a very large extent True. but it's still a sport yeah uh what makes it violent is the possible risk of extreme harm or death or death yes likely likely <laughs> so. but as athletes honestly we like to block off the idea or the thought of death mm. just like every warrior who goes to war doesn't expect to die exactly he doesn't think you of go to win that hinders your abilities yeah. amazing but yeah um just like all, sign a death warrant before you go and think we sign a contract I'll leave it at that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so th that's one thing about MMA I found out is that there's a lot of like BTS that if you're not in that world, you probably wouldn't know about really. True. Right. True. That's yeah. else. Exactly. And that, I mean, we're trying to even know more about that. To be honest, that's that's why this is a big talk. We are trying to like we always confront those type of topics. Yeah. Um, okay. I wanted to ask him, right? What's because I was going through your profile and I figured out that um there's mma there and there's kickboxing mm -hmm. what's the relationship between these two things and what's the difference between these two things okay um so i'll try to use as few words as possible yeah there is the broad spectrum which is martial arts yes so anything that does higher higher you can categorize as martial arts okay mm -hmm. okay and there's a bunch of them in fact some people classify things like um Tai Chi as a martial art. Mm, taekwondo? Taekwondo is a martial art. Okay. There's a bunch of them. There's karate, there's kempo, there's jiu jitsu. There's jiu jitsu. There's name it. It's it's a lot. Yeah. Um but any 
uh, system that puts together a set or compiles a style of techniques that some really helps you defend yourself, stay fit, can be classified as a martial art. As martial arts. Now, as far as differentiating between kickboxing and MMA, yeah. kickboxing is a striking martial art. Now, what I mean by striking martial art is it's virtually almost exclusively hitting. Hitting, yeah. So punching, kicking, in some cases, elbows, knees, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, MMA is not only exclusively striking. So you're saying the other one, kickboxing, is more offensive. Wow. Not just offensive, mm. more striking. striking. Every martial art has both offense and defense. Okay. But striking means hitting. Basically. Hitting, okay. You hit. In one That's way or the other, you have attack. to hit. Yes. Okay. You have to punch, you kick, etc. Right. Now, the reason uh, why MMA is slightly different from striking martial arts is MMA embodies grappling. Mm. Now, this is where mm. things like wrestling, wrestling. jiu-jitsu, sambo, and the likes. Mm. Now, these are not striking martial arts. Yeah. These involve a lot of grappling, grappling throwing, lifting, takedowns. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Takedown. Interesting. Now, MMA is, as far as I know and understand, is the most realistic martial art. Mm. Now, this is coming from someone with at least about 12 years of experience doing different martial arts. I've had lots of experience doing all kinds. Mm. And I um, have always been very particular about picking things that are more realistic. Right. Because there's a lot of fake. Am I allowed to curse here? Um, yeah. yeah we there's a lot of fake bullshit out there. Yeah. And yeah. You know, lots of people can look fancy, but it, it doesn't do nothing yeah. in the real yeah. world. Yeah. And um, MMA is the most realistic quote me on that is the most realistic martial arts spectrum that allows you defend yourself in almost all any scenario mm. yes because it embodies both striking and grappling now mm. here's my point now you meet someone who is a very good boxer name think of the best boxer you know mm. jake paul if, what Jake Paul, right? Yeah. Perfect. Jake Paul. What's you put that? Jake Paul. Oh, we stop bro, this. Nah, come on, that guy. Yeah. Oh, we stop vicious. this. But well, let's go, yeah, Jake but Paul. The point is, it doesn't matter. Jake Paul, anybody else. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You put Jake Paul, who is exclusively a boxer, against someone basic level, hasn't probably even competed professionally. Yeah. Who is at least above average good at something like jujitsu or wrestling. Yeah. Jake Paul will have a very hard time mm. dealing with him. Mm. Now, the problem or the reason is. Jake Paul is used to having to deal with a boxer coming at him. Yeah. And basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 ho and Hollywood cameras. And, and YouTubers. Exactly, exactly. And YouTubers. I mean, let, let's not digress, but Jake Paul has found a way to milk the cow. But yeah, yeah, he's yeah, making yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Now, coming through. Um, uh, uh, for having to deal with a wrestler coming at him, he's not ready for that. Yeah. Because mm. now the wrestler is trying to take you down and put you on your back. Yeah. As a boxer, your training every day is standing on your two feet. Yes. The moment your two feet are not on the ground anymore, you are fin you're almost you finished. Clueless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same thing could go vice versa. Exactly. Yeah. If the wrestler who is used to grappling and throwing and doing suplex and single and double leg takedowns is forced to have to stand and defend himself, it changes the spectrum very, very sharply because he can mm. barely throw punches like he should Hence. or kicks, mm. you know, etc. But MMA is a platform that allows both of these people mix. They marry both, both ideas. Both combine, yes, mm -hmm. combine both skills and apply it as effectively as possible. Amazing. Yes, yes. That's Hybrid really... martial art, in my opinion. Okay. So why is it? Why was the mixed in the mixed martial arts? That's it. That's it. That is the mix. That's the mix, right? Yeah. So a lot of martial arts are very exclusive. I'm sorry. Yeah. Say you find uh, your mic has just been bothering me. Can you like push the phone in and then just like the phone is just like it's not very aesthetically yeah. pleasing. Someone yeah. has OCD. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sorry. Just whatever. Yeah. Sounds um. Uh, what makes it mixed? But yes. Mm. What makes it mixed is most martial arts are exclusive. So you find a wrestler doing wrestling. He's wrestling all day. You find a guy who does taekwondo, karate, boxing, he does that exclusively. And 
uh, this is something I find to be a flaw in the way martial arts is taught. And this cuts across every martial arts. And you mm. can quote me on that. Yeah. You go to a boxing school, they teach you how to throw different kinds of punches. They teach you how to defend against different kinds of punches. Now, here's where the problem lies. Say on the random day on the street, having a good time with my people, now I have to deal with someone who's a wrestler. I have never dealt with someone who's a wrestler before. Mm -hmm. I've been training 10 years. Do you want to? Every day I'm boxing. No, no, the point okay. is <laughs> okay. perspective here. Yeah. Yeah. So you find a boxer who's dealing with boxing, boxing, people throwing all kinds of punches you can deal, but then you're not taught how to deal with someone who wrestle. tries to pick your legs off the ground, mm -hmm. which makes you clueless. Mm. And now you, you, you're like a beginner. And anybody who has done more than one martial art will understand my point. You could be an expert in one martial art the moment you try to go into another you realize how cruel you, you are in that from, one it's, yes yeah. you have to start from scratch mm -hmm. yeah. and it reminds me of a saying a uh, very uh good trainer who i learned with some years ago told me if, he you, says, do this, if you do this is great to that position I'm yeah ah uh, okay perfect yeah. he says the fact that you're the best in your martial arts doesn't mean your martial arts is the best in the world wow yes yeah. yes wow. very wise words in my experience in fact I've had to deal with a lot of people who have some experience in one thing or the other. And to be honest, based on the fact that I am pretty well exposed, I explore that weakness. Mm. See, I meet, I, I get a lot of people who come by my gym and they're like, oh, so you're the guy. All right. Oh, I'm a boxer. I've done this. I've won this. I've won that. You know, I want to spar with you. And I, I, I don't uh, always indulge gym stormers. But sometimes, at least, you know, when, when they at least approach the right way, sure, I'll indulge. And if you're a boxer, you're usually not prepared to be kicked. Yeah. Most of mm. it, you probably have never been kicked in your life. Yeah. Most of the time, you've only, accept, you've only had to receive punches. When you get kicked, it changes the dynamics right. completely. Say you can punch and kick, you've never been on your back. I will put you on your back and make you see why your boxing has no place here right so getting a decent balance of both striking and grappling is what makes mma so 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 distinct so much yeah. better mm -hmm. much more of a hybrid combat compared to most other martial arts that's super interesting. duper interesting do you have anyone that inspires you in the mma field that you... a lot of people inspire yeah. me a lot of people um yeah israel adesanya really inspires me his story uh, how he's been able to build something very, very yeah. uh, monumental for himself. Yeah. I, I draw some inspiration from there. Uh, I draw some inspiration from Kamaru Usman. I've Usman. Seen, yes. Usman Kamaru. Yes, Usman Kamaru. Mm. Mm. We've talked a, a, a few times. And, you know, he, he definitely does have some very good pointers and, of course, some knowledge that I could tap from. I'm also a very big fan of Anderson Silva. Mm, uh, Anderson. I, I like what he Silva is Brazilian, right? Yes, he is. Yeah. His style, yeah, representing his persona. And honestly, the, his, his way of looking at fighting and martial arts, I, I share that same mindset. And there's a lot of others I could go on and on. Yeah, interesting. That's right super there, those three at the top. George St. Pierre, oh my. Mm. GSP, oh my, how could I? Goat. Pardon, pardon my disrespect. Goat. Hmm. Yeah. GSP is also someone I find very inspiring and right. You know, Interesting, you know. So speaking part. about that, right? Like speaking about your inspiration. So, how did you even get into fighting? Like, tell us about that. So, uh, for me, it wasn't always about fighting. So, <laughs> you say uh, you love fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, here we are. But yeah, uh, uh, I, I like to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm However, a lover, sometimes not a fighter. they put a challenge in front of me, and I have to go through it. Yeah. So, so how did you yeah. get into it? Um, so many years ago, uh, I met a friend of mine who was into Taekwondo. Okay. He was a, he was a good friend and he told me about it, tried to get me to, you know, get involved. And then I was just a fit guy, you know, I play football and I hit the gym. I was well toned. I used to model, you know, so I was very physical generally, but I wasn't into martial arts mm -hmm. and he got me to come try Taekwondo and from the first day i tried it i loved it i'm like wow so i could do this what was yeah. what was it about taekwondo like just the, the the being able to learn some skill that allows me feel somewhat superior allows me feel 
more confident in myself and you know just the techniques the approach perhaps it was the way he thought it or it was what he thought i'm not sure honestly yeah. right but from that day it changed my mindset changed my perspective to a lot of things yeah. and i really wanted to get the best i could from training martial arts and as the years went on i i dabbled in a few things and tried to pick the most uh, applicable ones or the most reasonable um tangible ones the ones i yeah. felt applied to me the most yeah. right mm -hmm. Here we are, many years later. Honestly, and it's how long ago was that? How long ago was that? Sorry, I man. would say in twenty eleven. Wow, that's yes. um. And fast forward, I'm talking four years. No, twenty eleven is about ten, twelve, oh. fifteen years. Jesus Christ, I'm you know, in a time fast up. forward Bro. now. You, you are <laughs> three times uh, national kick, kickboxing champ. Yes, oh my yes, God, yes, why yes correct, correct. Three times national kickboxing champion. Correct. MMA pro record. Five two. Yep. What, was that? what was that? Five three actually. Okay. I, I lost my last one. It's not my uh, biggest. Uh, yeah, but prop, you're, but, you're yeah. quite successful in the field, so you're doing very I well. Try, and I definitely. Right. You know, if this was drink champs, we'll have this flowers ready for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Working on that. I do all right for myself. No, Being an well. athlete in Nigeria, what's it like? Support system. What's it like? <sighs> I mean, there's no support system, so that's out of it. Wow! Everything so it must be I a struggle. Do and have done is solely by myself. Wow! With no sponsors or anything, I've just tried my best to make the best decisions possible. And if I wasn't doing what I'm doing right now, I would be doing something else and putting all that energy into that as well. Mm. Right. I just have a mindset of I will not fail. I cannot. Fail. You cannot I must fail. succeed whatever I choose to do. I love it. Yeah. That's optimistic. Yeah, we are. Yes, yes. So I'm also curious to find out doing that from Nigeria here because it's not a very pop popular like professional career. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you go about MMA as a Nigerian person? Um, I I've been Nigeria. privileged enough to rub minds with some of the people who have gotten the best out of MMA in Nigeria. Mm. And I've also been privileged enough to rub minds with people outside Nigeria in right. a bunch of countries. I, I could I could go on and on about listing, but um, all I have done personally is try to develop myself as much as possible. All right. I'm more of a student than I am a fighter or a teacher or anything else. I'm all a right. student of the art. I just want to learn. I want to improve. I want to get better by the day. I've put in so much effort to focus on doing that as well as do that for my guys. And when I say my guys, my team at TMA, yeah. I have been building a team for a few years. And I mean, it's a team sport, even though at the end of the day, when you're locked in a cage, you're alone. Yeah, alone. But everything that goes cage. on behind that is a full on team sport. You need a bunch of guys to help prepare you for that few minutes you spend mm -hmm. that and and that's so with almost everything in life whatever you're doing there's no one man uh, there's an island For so it. you must always involve even even adam even when adam was made in the in the garden they had yeah. to give him somebody else to support him exactly so it's always great to it's great to hear you speak about building a team as well yep um that's awesome some say uh, uh, adam could never be black uh, uh. Ack because a black man okay. will never share his real, real, real that's kind of right <laughs> but yeah that's solid man so like um when you get in the ring what's the mindset like how do you get in there what's your ritual before what's your pre-ritual before you fight i have no ritual no ritual My ritual is to be prepared be prepared be prepared uh, speaking of being prepared you have you had quadu before you know quadu quadu uh, okay let's keep that but you have a fight with uh coming up with Quadu Marcel. That's the guy you're talking about. Have I had yeah. Quadu? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Quadu is a concussion in Nigeria here, actually. Oh, yeah? You have you heard of it, Quadu? As a different person from the... It's like, have you heard about, like, they mix Gary and Geisha and... Oh, I've heard about... They do that shit in boarding schools, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hear that yeah. nastiest mix I've heard. Um, How can you mix Gary and Geisha? No, I'm just supporting you <laughs> over, over Quadu Marcel. <laughs> Marcel. I, I'm sorry, I can't well, pronounce it first. So, wh <laughs> when was your last fight? Uh, in um, March. Yeah. March. March. March 
thirtieth. Right. Mm. Or April. Yeah. Sometime around. Wow. So what's recovery time for you after after fighting like depends on damage. What's recovery like? Okay, depends, depends on, on damage. damage. Okay, so that's sometimes you go in fights where you can win in a few minutes. Yeah. No injuries. I'm good to fight tomorrow if you have a good opponent for me. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, the opponent doesn't budge and then you take some damage and mm. you need some time to recover. So there's no really like a strong fixed time. It's like, yeah. oh, in two weeks, I'm damage. good. No. Okay, depends got on damage. You. So what's the longest recovery time you've been in, you've had before? One month. One month. Jeez, what was the damage? Just damage to a few parts. Months wow. Eight. Okay. Some of which was me doing damage to, to my the other opponent. Person, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I hurt myself damaging Trying someone else. <laughs> Damn. It's wow. Very interesting sports, man. I mean, yeah, like there, there's this correlation that I find here. You uh nickname being Shex. Yes. And Thanks. uh MMA being a sport that has to do with striking. Would you consider yourself a super striker? I, I like your wordplay, but yes, yeah. I am a striker at heart. Mm. I can grapple, but I am a striker at heart. Amazing. Interesting. Also, like mixed martial arts, the, the, the part of you know the three words that interest me the most is the art side. How is it an art? Oh, to you, it's just beautiful it's when an it art. comes together nicely, bro. Mm. It's beautiful when it comes together nicely. Martial art is it's art. It's art. It's art. It's art in motion. Yeah. Because you know, you're you're literally watching come people. to the gym one time and I would prove to you it's that an is an art. art. By the time he puts you on headlock, I can't bro, come out to you. I promise you no know hurt will come to you. However, <laughs> you might be as tired as a mule, but you will not be hurt in any way. No injuries, nothing. I'm I'm not one of those guys who are in the to show force. Yes, in the uh, sport of trying to intimidate or like yeah. trying to show out. No, mm. no, no, no. For me, it's not really about showing off. It's what, more so about what's it like every day when you go out and like. Uh, like I, I assume like you get into conflicts like everybody gets into conflicts mm -hmm. was it like um what's your state of mind usually yeah, when just accessing your knees and you fuck you like i like don't get like into a fight with an mma fight exactly like, so i'm just like when you are outside and there's a threat what's your state of mind because like personal self defense self preservation self preservation self right because i can imagine that you have to be very humble because Always. you can almost take out a huge percentage of the people that you grow, come across. That is true. So what is it like? Like, what's the discipline of staying down and not using your... Decking people. And not regular. decking people anytime you see them. What's that discipline? Mm -hmm. Any any um, any experienced martial artist is not a bully. He's not a bully. Very Anybody you right? see who remotely has some skill and is a bully, it's not experienced enough. And all they need is someone who's better than them and they will humble themselves. Mm. I don't walk around with the aura of, you know, I'm the boss. Yeah. Don't mess with me. I can kick everybody's ass. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm a nice guy. I respect myself. Um, in fact, I am more likely to get in a violent conflict protecting someone I love than I am for myself. For yourself. My ego is able to take just walking away from a small altercation mm. as opposed to say someone i don't know hits my sister or my brother or yeah. my good friend and he's stuck in a bad situation yeah i will go through a wall to make sure we get out of there so right Understood. that's my approach to such things amazing so, so what's the what's the like um fighting is not just a physical thing indeed so what's the can you enlighten the can you enlighten me and everybody watching on the mental part that you have to conquer in order to be who you are mm. the mental discipline and the mental struggles that you go through besides I, the physical because i'm I pretty sure the mental controls the physical right i would say it cuts in two parts yeah so one part is if you compete the idea is that you compete against other trained people who have nearly as much experience as you. As you, you yeah. Which makes the threat of bodily harm that much higher. Because yeah. Much more prepared. Exactly. And the mental aspect of that is to have a dog mindset. Dog see? mindset. We, we are both locked in <laughs> here. I got that dog that in me. Dog. Yes. <laughs> I got that dog in me, boy. 
yeah. you must go no i'm exactly you have to have that dog in you mm -hmm. we're both locked in here i walk out I if only one out. person leaves here it will be me you know that mindset yeah. is what you approach competitions with um as far as anything else and when i say anything else i mean you know your everyday training or self-defense or just being strong and fit i would say consistency beats everything right being as consistent as possible same way we eat every day mm -hmm. same way some of you guys try to get jiggy every couple yeah. days yeah. you need to geek geek yep, yeah <laughs> <laughs> you need to train your mind, mind and body consistently consistently yeah. whatever schedule applies or you know is is feasible for you right adjust and train yourself as much as you need to because like they say it's better to have it and not need it yes than to need it and not have it yes, yes. and you know when you train martial arts it's all gains and no negatives really right so mm. That's, that's, that's how i would turn so do, do you have like what's the demographic like um i know i know like it's been a physical sport mm. like people already auto assume that oh it's a men's sport like mm. we already know that women participate in this sport abroad but, but, but in nigeria like obviously seeing women. a woman fight is not a norm so do you i know you're a trainer as well do you have women come to you yes for that purpose Definitely. in fact so here a larger amount of people i train who just want to be fit and for self-defense are women are women right yes. i would want my daughters to actually learn when seven, yeah. bring them to me i'll give you a discount for sure but um as far as competitions not a lot of women are excited about the idea of training the martial arts yeah but the idea of the chance that they get physically hurt when they compete yeah. is very discouraging. So mm. there's not many women who go all the way to try to compete. Right. But okay. a lot of women train to stay fit. Self-defense. Yes, train for self-defense. You know. Women in the sports, like um I also coming back to like um um MMA and kickboxing in Nigeria, because that's very important because one of the things we the, one of the reasons we set up this podcast is to bring awareness to topics mm -hmm. and to also sensitize people on things yeah. so um you are teaching a lot of people a lot of stuff right yeah, now indeed, yes. what what is it like in nigeria just because you never know there might be somebody here who wants to get into mixed martial arts or kickboxing what is it like what is it like striving in nigeria as an athlete because like the olympics is going on right now and i saw a news like yesterday or two days ago the person who was representing nigeria for cycling yeah. didn't have a bike oh. the german the german olympics. yeah the german team had to contribute a bike so you can see that there's no there's no much support for people in these fields yeah. in sports apart from the ones who dominate like football even the footballers complain. I mean, he couldn't fly his bike all the way to that place, right? So, like, it's fair, right? Bro, the country is supposed to provide a bike oh. for somebody representing the country. What yeah. is a bike? A, bri a bike shouldn't cost more than one thousand dollars. For real? Do you understand? Yeah. So back to um back to Shags. Um, what what is it like? Like just navigating your way because I know you have aspirations too. You're already professional, and I know you want to level up. What is it like? What are the challenges? That you encounter being an athlete in nigeria hmm. there's a few challenges yes being an athlete in any sport in nigeria honestly yeah uh i can only speak for the one that i yes am part of yes and i think the biggest drawback is the ignorance of people right a lot of people are not aware of a lot of things a lot of things this sport called MMA. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people just think it's fighting. In fact, a lot of people call it UFC. Yes. Please, I will say it for the record. Please quote me. You could put this on repeat. UFC is not the name of the martial arts. Yes. It's called MMA. MMA. UFC is just a company. It's like calling soft drinks, every soft drink Fanta or Coke. It's like WrestleMania. <laughs> it's like WWE. <laughs> WWE it's, doesn't mean wrestling. It's <laughs> MMA, which is short for Mixed Martial, martial arts. arts. UFC is one of the companies 
that are uh, uh, spearheading service provider. Yeah. the uh, MMA martial arts and bringing it to your screens oh. exclusively. Yeah. All right. Now, as far as the challenges, like I said, the first one is ignorance. Most people don't know nearly enough about these things. Yeah. And this gives them a mindset that anybody who is into this kind of sport is like, oh, you're a fighter. Yes. Yeah, so you don't have anything better to do, you know, or you, ju- you just want to be fighting. And actually, no, that's not what it is. It's not just fighting. There's a lot that goes into preparing mm-hmm. to compete. That's why I don't, um, I don't see myself as a fighter. Yeah. Honestly, I am an athlete and there's a very strong difference between both. If you go to the park, any park, you can any meet boss a, park, you can exactly, meet fighters. You can meet the fighters. They are ready to fight you at any day. For me, you You're meet me in a dark fighter. alley, I would plead. Like, please, please, Wait, sorry. If someone meets you in a dark alley, what does that mean? I would, I would plead. I'm sorry. You want my phone? You can take it. I would usually only fight if there's no alternative. Yeah, mm. which if is wisdom. There is no way to avoid it. Then I would do it. And if I would get paid for it, then I would do it. Or if I do it for the purpose of training and improving myself, sure. But anything else, just to you know, walk around and prove to the next guy that I'm bigger or stronger or whatever, makes no sense, honestly. It's, I love that point. It's a very high risk for no reward. I love that point because there's um. Man, you, I just have to say, when you're on the road today, man. Oh yeah, did you, I'm did you do fun. like? Did you use ChatGPT to find the questions? No, no, no. I'm just interested because in what he does. I, yeah, He's, asking some key questions here, man. Bringing yeah. women into like asking about women. That's oh yeah, true. Yeah. I train lots of women. I encourage lots of women. I give women discounts. If you're going to compete under the TMA brand, you will get a discount. So what does TMA mean? Yeah. TMA means Taros Martial Arts. Ta- TMA Taros. means Taros. Taros I'm a Taros. Martial Arts. When, when are you born? 14th May. I'm born 18th May. Wow. Ooh. Hey, YG, take it. Is there a ski? Yeah. Yes, That's I have. Us. That's we. That's, That's right. us. That's we. Yeah, I'm like a very, well, very stubborn Man. guys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> very, In very fact, stubborn. if you're not stubborn, you can't fight. You can't fight. Honestly, you can't. Yeah. True. I can see there's, that. There's a lot of times when you feel like, am I even cut out for this? Yes. Just, why am I doing this? Yes. But, you know, that stubbornness is a little oomph that helps you get through those blocks. I guess That's you can call Taurus it. Con- M-A. Yeah. T- Taros Martial Arts, yes. T- that's TMA. T- TMA. TMA, yes. Cool. Amazing. How long has TMA been running for? TMA has been running for about four or five years. Five years. You're solid. So, yeah, half a and decade. We're legit. We came, we came for business. We, yeah. we, You're uh, solid. You're we're going to be different or we are different from any other brand that is anything remotely close to what we do. Solid. And we look to make impact and change the ignorant idea of most people as far as combat sports is concerned right we're gonna put shagun's instagram down here if you want to sign up yep, mma yep. shoot me a you message know where is that? i got you i got you You know T- where is that tma yeah i got you also like speaking of uh ufc you are in sfc i'm so i i don't sound ignorant because i'm i'm not I'm, i started doing research about this you know preparing for this but okay they are looking at your profile seeing that you're involved with sfc not I ufc involved what is yeah. SFC? What is SFC? Seeker Fighting Club. Seeker Fighting Club. So SFC is kind of like UFC. UFC it's okay. just yeah. another brand that puts together these competitions and lets okay. athletes come on their platform to right. compete. Mm. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Like um, I wanted to ask about. I lost my train of thoughts, but okay, it was. I can ask. Do you know Kelly? Shit, I, I, I'm trying to land my workplace still. Being machine gun. Yes. <laughs> you, oh, we, please, what's your problem? You know, I, I indulged oh, we, you please, don't That was my fault. I should yeah, have picked yeah. it up earlier. Exactly. Machine gun. How did you get the I'm name machine you, gun? Like, whoever you're with, her nickname should be Kelly. Like, How did you get machine well, gun? Uh, it, it came from... That's a rapid name, you know. Yes. In fact, it came from <laughs> rapid striking. What? At, For you to be called at, machine gun you know, means you're rapid. You're exactly. rapid. you know, a few friends of mine are like, oh man, when Shanks come at, comes at you, it's like ta-ta-ta-ta-ta, like machine gun. I'm like, eh. Hey. They don't give you name. I tell you. Now I, I, need to say, I need to trademark these guns. Yes, no. Ex- oh, connection. <laughs> like guns. Heard you, bro. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. Heard you. Do you train kids as well? Yes, yeah. we do train kids. I, I like to always say we because uh, TMA is T- much more than me. Yeah, it's a sure. we. We are a team. We yeah. are a force to be reckoned with. 
yes, we do train kids as well. From what ages? Depends on how. Um, what age would you say is appropriate to start training? Ideally, your child? I would say around seven. Seven, right? Seven. Okay, when my child is seven, I know it. I Some know kids are smarter, stronger, more athletically Athletic, able, yeah. gifted, blessed, and they can start younger. But some kids are very, you know, soft and yeah. Neat, so you and have to work with them. Really treat them up. Grow time. Yeah, not sure. Because I, I honestly, in fact, I started training kids a lot more years ago. I used to train lots of kids. They're very malleable schools. to work with. True. Yeah. True. Um, however, I don't let, in fact, when I train kids, I encourage their parents to leave. Yeah. I don't to want get you emotions here. out of the room. Yes. So I don't want you going, Oh, my baby. Is soft on my this, guy. This. No, life is not going to do that to them and go, Oh, just cause you're tired. We will give you a break. Hell no. Life work. doesn't. And in this, this is a very controlled environment. Yeah. If you're able to teach a kid that when he falls, mommy is not going to come pick you up. You get stand up, up yourself. And get moving, mm -hmm. you know. Give him a little bit of grunge. Move it. Get your ass up. This is, you know, just a little. It, it's a mental thing that it would do to them to teach them that self, um, uh, the ability to pick themselves up yeah. when they need to. Which is a and key trait in life. It is a key trait very in life key. indeed. Very, very and in, in many, many a time I have wished, uh, you know, I started doing martial arts way younger. I right. wish I started at like 12 and all that time spent in playing football and volleyball and basketball. Mm. I could have put it into martial arts. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I used to do Taekwondo. <laughs> but like, why are you laughing at me? No, how, how far did you go? You? <laughs> it's just like the state of you right I, now. But, but it wasn't like intentional. My parents weren't intentional. It was my school. It offered Taekwondo classes. So I used to like just. How far did you go with it? Um, I w I went up to like <laughs> I was still a white belt. I didn't really get any seri like serious. I was supposed to be promoted to yellow, but like my parents didn't keep up. They focused on soccer. I was supposed to be a soccer player, but life had me. I mean, what you sports know? are you really into right now, though? Right now, yeah. Blunt rolling and <laughs> <laughs> blunt skin and blunt blowing. <laughs> um, I. I wanted to find out like the the training the training that you do is there like a name for the school training school I don't know what to call it but like training school yeah, is called Taros Martial Arts mm. oh, oh that's that's TMA okay because I also wanted wanted it's to a registered that. company we are certified in every necessary regard to be yeah. able to teach and train I am uh, a member of the Olympic Committee for Martial Arts yeah um every other necessary body i need to be certified by has mm -hmm. been certified so you're all ready. my trainers you're ready that's yes, what you're yes. saying all my trainers are first aid certified as well wow. by the red cross wow uh, they also have decent experience both from me and some of them before we became uh, partners right and you know i my trainers comprise of both professional and amateur kickboxing and mma athletes right so they all know their stuff nice you were sure supposed to have a fight today yes yes i was it should have been today Dude, but fantastic. with the protests happening you know a few things are unstable and we could, probably couldn't guarantee full attendance Attendance, yeah. Mm. so it had to be postponed and is it to be announced Did you yes it will be announced. so it's still holding oh, same fight will oh it will happen same opponent same right? opponent same right. everything dude is ready what I'm is his name to... again? Quado Marcel. Yes, Quadio Marcel. Yeah. Why does he have a Spanish name? Hey, he's Nigerian. No, he's uh, from Côte d'Ivoire. Côte d'Ivoire. Oh. I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Please. Is he going to collect? He will. You gotta go collect. It will now. be a hard time for him. I know go oh, collect. Uh, he's a strong guy God. too. He's a strong guy. I'll give him his credit. Yeah. His last fight was very impressive. I watched it closely, and I'm like, hmm, I like this guy. It looks like a good opponent. Is the fight going to be in Abuja? Yes, it will be I'm in Abuja. I'm going to be in attendance. And the big talk team better be there. We're yeah, going to be there. there. Yep. We're out there and you should yep. be out there too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Everybody in the room is going to be When the date is announced, it will be in the uh, description the of the video. The date will be announced soon. So please so be there. It will be in the description oh, of the yeah, video. Oh, yeah. My guy just walked into the room. Ayo Adeleke. That's oh, my boy from New York. Adeleke. Shout out Ayo shout out Ayo. this place smells very nice right now yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very green very tropical tropical vibes um so um how do you enroll to tme just give us a call send us a message we have our uh, online platform it's live from next week 
perfect you can log in to our website just and follow the prompts. Your world. you could hit us up on instagram you could just we're, we're everywhere i mean if you google the name you will find it you will find a means to contact us via email text message calls yeah or just a dm and right. we'll respond we'll give you full details time schedule what we teach when we teach right how long training takes what the cost is if we train kids and adults everything full information is provided at your fingertips amazing amazing so like i, I mean if you want to do that so you could just check the description of this video you find a link mm -hmm. that will lead you to uh, enroll, enroll or to do research on tme uh, I think that's a wrap. I think we, we touched on everything. That yeah, we, yeah. We, we, it was a we very good conversation. Yeah. I learned a lot very from Machine Gun yeah. Shakes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate that. you for coming on the podcast, man. Yeah, I man. I appreciate you guys too for having me. It was a pleasure. So one yeah. more thing. Shoot. What, are you, what, what fight are you looking forward to this year? Do you have any exciting fights you're looking forward oh, to? Oh, I want to see Dracos and Adesanya. Oh, Adesanya. Oh, I want okay. to see that Dracos yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wish, I really, really wish they would do that fight in africa somewhere yeah man i don't know why uh, they don't bring the sports here uh, well this is it, it's still like, getting there you okay. know there's a lot of factors that go into these things and i mean it's kind of like someone going oh this podcast looks so easy why yeah. don't they just do it this way and that yeah, way yeah, oh, for sure. man, they don't know they don't see in fact you over there <laughs> you don't see all the things i see that <laughs> has to go yeah, into for sure, producing for sure. this uh look Good right point. Yeah. Good so point. same thing with uh, brands like the UFC or you know PFL and uh, the the rest. Mm. A lot that goes into it is still very unstable as far as Africa locations is concerned. in Africa. I think that's where they have a major challenge. Africa, please, we need to rise up. We <clears> need to rise up. Africa unite. Al Kebulan, rise up. Let's let's and hope though. it works. Let's hope it works, and I hope they bring something to Nigeria. I hope. You know, South Africa. Some of the best fighters bigger. are from here. Ades Indeed. Adesanya, Usman. Indeed. Why Indeed. don't we have... Amongst others. Those are just the three top guys. There's exactly. a bunch of other guys that are not there's like you. top, top. There's machine gun shakes here. Machine like, what's Indeed. going on? Indeed. I mean... Real. Real. We work hard. We are genetically gifted. Yeah, man. Godspeed, like man. Some of it is... Godspeed. You know, yeah. blessing. Yeah, yeah. Godspeed with gods. all of your endeavors, man. Thank you. Thank Amazing, you. I appreciate man. that. If you're not subscribed, if you're not liked, if you've not seen us for the past four or five months, because you've never been right. around, but I'm not subscribed. Yeah. This is the rightest is the rightest time to do so. <laughs> because we're out here. Um shout out to Machine Gun Shakes for blessing us. Thank you, thank you. And Cleansman, Cleansman and Kickman Barra just dropped. Double up. Go stream that. We're gonna link put the link in down the description here. description of the video. Yesarski. Big Talk is the biggest podcast. Please. And we out. <coughs> we outside. We outside. Why did you cut me out, right? Bro. Okay. I, I see it. Okay. I see it. Big talk is the biggest podcast. Peace. We outside. Outside. Big talk.